clarifying questions. Uh, somebody gives a proposal or somebody says something you don't understand really what you need to have some clarification. The C. Got the C. Okay. It's clarifying questions. The next one, next one is direct response. Direct response? Okay. Direct response is one of the more misunderstood hand signals. Direct response means I have information that we need to have immediately, the group needs, otherwise we can't proceed. Say someone announces the march is at 3 p.m. and we meet at the Elk, but you know that the march has actually been changed to 5 p.m. at the Elk. Factual information. Factual information that we have got to have to go forward, that's when you use direct response. Okay, everybody clear on that? Okay, and uh, are we missing it? Ah, you can't hear? Hands up. Raise the roof. You need more volume. Okay, and then the other one that is pretty important, and it's also kind of misunderstood sometimes, point of process. Point of process means you want to tell us something about what we need to know about the process that we're doing here. That means that, say, we're supposed to take a temperature check, but we moved right into uh, looking for agreement. You need to let us know that. You put up your little triangle and tell us point of process. Okay, I think that's pretty clear. Everybody got that? Okay, fabulous. And uh, we're going to talk about the stack. We're going to take stacks of three at a time. So when we call for stack, you're going to raise your hand, and when you get called on, you're going to leave that finger in the air for your one, two, or three. Okay. Um, and as facilitators, we're here holding the space for you so we can do this process. We have a great process that, that, that is the net for all of us. It's holding us, and we're all participants. We're all facilitating this process together. We're just here to help hold the space and make sure the process moves along so we can come to agreement, so we can do this wonderful work that we're doing. And we're really excited to be here. Thanks so much. So let's get on with it. Committee announcements. Cool. So I'm going to go over the agenda for tonight real quick. Um, we're going to start with committee announcements. So if you are from a committee and you have an announcement, could you please line up right here so that you can make your announcements? Um, I'm asking people who are making both committee announcements and general announcements to please keep it brief. Um, only convey factual information that the crowd needs to know because we have a lot to move through tonight. So, so just sum it up. And um, if somebody's going on for too long, we have a hand signal for that too. Um, do people know what that is? No. Yeah, it's that thing. So um, that encourages people to move along. Um, so we're going to start with committee announcements, and then we're going to go to general announcements, um, which should also be kept quite brief. So if you have a general announcement, could you please get behind the committee announcements line? And we're going to try to move through these as quickly as possible so that we can get to proposals. There's two proposals on the agenda tonight, so we're going to address one of them, and then we're going to have announcements for new proposals that will be taking place tomorrow night or later on in the week. And then we're going to address the second proposal. And then after that we'll be done, hopefully having made two decisions tonight. So, um, so that said, so yeah, let's move on to committee announcements then. Who's going? Hello, Occupy. So, I am representing the newly formed Action Committee, formerly known as the March Committee. And I just wanted to let you all know that it's formed, so that if you are interested in joining us, our goal is to come up with actions, demonstrations, creative theater, civil disobedience, whatever we see fit to address certain issues. Our main issues of concern are ones that we think many of you will share. Campaign financing, corporate personhood, banking, including foreclosure issues, Union issues, healthcare, employment or lack thereof, veterans issues, student loan issues, education, and homelessness and solidarity with that. Um, so there's a lot of stuff going on already that many of you are organizing, and so if you are already organizing something and would like assistance from a committee, come to us if you want to join us. Um, I also have an announcement about something going on of importance. Hold on. Not tomorrow, but the next day is Wednesday at the convention center. There is a pretty important uh, action going on because a pretty awful person is coming to town. Her name is Condoleezza Rice. What do you guys think of her? That's right, 
so if you really feel that that sentiment is strong for you, come join. The Veterans for Peace have already organized a demonstration outside of the convention center. You guys know the convention center with those strange spires on MLK? So they are meeting at the Martin Luther King statue in front of the convention center this coming Wednesday at 5 p.m. Condoleezza Rice is scheduled to speak in there shortly thereafter. So come meet the Veterans for Peace, come join, come represent Occupy, come, come and show your disapproval of this woman. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Imre and I uh, represent a working group that uh, had the amendment yesterday for uh, our support for ranked choice instant voting runoff, uh, runoff voting in, uh, in Portland. And so I wanted to remind people that tomorrow at 6.30 as is when we meet in front of City Hall to be part of the working group in there to help this uh, move forward in the city. Um, on a separate note, Similar note, uh, Amanda Fritz is coming down tomorrow between 1 and 2 right here to answer any questions um, that we might have about that. Who's Amanda Fritz? She is one of the commissioners. Uh, so if uh, anybody has any questions about the process or what that is, you can call, talk to me right now. Um, and at the same time, I want to reiterate that this is a very important local actionable thing that we can do that actually help move democracy forward, uh, give smaller parties choice. Uh, more of a voice, so um, your participation is highly encouraged. Thank you. Just a quick thing about Wednesday, bring your own sign or make your own sign in the art space for the demonstration at the convention center. Thank you. Alright, hello Occupy. My name's Brush and I'm with the growing jail supports committee that may merge into a a real Occupy Portland legal support infrastructure among activists here. Um, we're working closely with the National Lawyers Guild, but it's, we're really wanting to have it be rooted here with the Occupy movement. If you're interested in being one of the people who can help support people who go into jail, support their friends and family, in communicating and coordinating, making sure everybody gets a, a radical attorney if they want one, and, uh, and supporting them through that process, we want you to be part of that. It's really great work you can do. It's great work you can do from home or if you're um, not able to be here in the streets all the time. Um, the, we're going to have a training on Sunday, this coming Sunday, the 23rd at 4 p.m. at the Portland Law Collective. Check info or the website for the address. Thanks. Clarify question. Clarify question. Hi, a couple nights ago, or actually maybe it was last Thursday, uh, we passed a resolution of support for the folks who were arrested, and there was a, a, a fund that was getting going to help defray their legal costs. And I just wanted to know if you're in contact with the person who was working on the fund, not or not yet, because I can put you in touch with her if you're not. I'll come right over to you. That's a great example of something that could be said from one individual to another outside of the context of the General Assembly. Yeah. Next. Hi, my name's Casey. I represent the Goals and Stance Committee. We're working to put together a proposal for a list of concrete, concisely defined organizational goals. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, input, our next meeting is going to be tomorrow at 4.30 by the Obelisk. If you cannot attend, we have a discussion on the website under the proposal section. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Bosch, and I'm a point of contact for street team and outreach. Thank you. There is a street team meeting tomorrow at 3 o'clock in our library. If you'd like to join street team, please come out and show your support. Furthermore, we also have uh, the rough rules and agreements that we've gone over in the General Assembly printed out, and we need them posted at the entrance and exit of every part of this park. If anybody would like to come and print one of those, or not print one of those out, but uh, pick one of those up and help post it, I would be much appreciative. I'll have them in about five minutes standing over there. Thank you, Street Team. Yeah. Hello, my name's Tad. I'm uh, one of two people at this point who's putting together the conflict resolution team. Uh, we, okay. I'm one of the few people, uh, two people that's putting together the conflict conflict resolution team. Uh, we are going to be meeting this Friday at 2 p.m. 
the general idea is that we will be a conflict resolution and mediation team for people that have problems amongst each other or with groups or with safety or whomever. We're going to try to help solve the problems by uh, having you guys help us. So thank you. Thank you. Oh, at the library. At the library. What time? 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Friday at the library. Conflict resolution team meeting. Next. Hello, um, I'm Tila. I'm kind of new to this uh, uh, Portland. Occupy. Occupy Portland. Anyway, um, I am a volunteer here uh, for, for safety. I want to make sure we all get along together and it is come to, this is my personal thing, it's come to my attention that there has been a lot of thefts amongst the people here, camp to camp, and um, I'm just asking people to come forward because after somebody came forward to me because somebody took their blankets, I realized that there is a lot more thieving going on than people have been mentioning. And so I would like to start a campaign of neighbors looking out after neighbors and um, maybe posting some signs, not no blaming signs, just signs rem reminding people we are all here together, working together and living together. If anyone is in need of anything, you can come to one of the volunteers at the multiple booths and we could probably get it for you. And if not, we will get it for you. That's just straight up it. We gotta respect each other and live together if this is gonna actually create a movement beyond this assembly. So just come and find me. I'll be around tomorrow and maybe later tonight. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Peter Davidson and I represent a couple of different committees loosely. Um, I'm sort of working with Bosch on outreach and community outreach. As I mentioned previously, one of the aspects that I'm outreach is focused on is touching the broader Portland community. This community is really vital and we need to reach out beyond us to the broader Portland community. So if you're interested in uh, taking action towards uh, connection with the broader Portland community, get our info at uh, the info booth, uh, shoot us an email, send, give us a call. We're coordinating action towards outreach. On a, totally, on a totally unrelated note, I'm also coordinating events. There are a lot of music, musicians, artists, folks who want to come down and participate and essentially share their creativity with us and attract the broader audience with because they are, are well-known musicians, for example. So if you have any experience with event production, uh, event uh, creation, I need a lot of help coordinating events. So if you're a musician, if you know about sound, if you know about PAs, if you know about lights, there are real musicians who want to come, bands who want to come down and support us. Um, so th th again, th our info is at uh, the info booth. Uh, call, email, anytime. Um, we're looking for volunteers in both of those areas. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.